They say you gotta do it twice to let them know the first time wasn't no flu. So I went back in the lab to bring you boy that see it right there part two. When you bit time, you gotta move like you bit time. This only the intro, you gotta give us our flowers. Yeah. I'm back in my bag. So good afternoon, lab, sir. It's just going on. <laughs> I go by Coop City. Mr. Boy, that's it right there. Okay. You from Greenville originally or? Oh yeah, from the south side. Bell Mead and the Valley. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. I know you've crossed paths a few times, like just growing up through the years and whatnot, but we never really got to sit down and talk. All right, all right. So I do gotta ask you though, do you how do you not have an ego? How do you not have an ego? Yeah, because that take that takes not having an ego to be able to Put together a compilation as to me, Green was kind of broken. Uh, you, over the years, it's been broken up as far as this, this group ain't gonna fuck with this group. This group ain't right, gonna fuck right, with right. this group. How are you able to not have an ego and say, Hey, I need you to come through and do this song? I need you to come through and do that song. It's really like for the, the love of the music. Like, like really, when I started, it was more so like if somebody make a beat, mm -hmm. it's like, Hey, bro, why you ain't got him on one of your beats? Or with an artist, why you ain't did nothing on his beat or with this artist? Mm -hmm. So it's really more so like I took it in my own hands and just made it happen. You feel me? Like, I he on this hook, you just get on this verse. You ain't even gonna hear who on the second verse till you feel me. The song done anyway, so mm -hmm. you just gonna find out like it. But nowadays it's more so. It ain't really like the West Side and the, yeah. the uh, South Side beef. So mm -hmm. you kind of can do songs with other people and stuff, but. Back in the day, boy, it was over with. As soon as you cross that railroad tracks, it's a wrap going yeah. to that west side. So what did you do to start the process of that, the first album? Um, basically, for one, I was getting all the beats. Mm -hmm. And then it was more so like when I hear the beat, I already know what artists I want on it. Like It's kind of like a superpower, but I just, just know it. Like I study the artist's music, so... Say it's a certain song I like from you. Mm. I might be like, bro, I want you to give me the same sauce you did on that song, on this beat. Okay. You feel me? Not the words, but, right. the, you know, the energy or yeah. whatever. And just do it like that. So what song did you do first? Um, The first song I say I did was Trenches. Okay. With uh, AWOL, Long Live Cody and Cody, mm -hmm. Munt Fu, and uh, Hampton F. Okay. Okay. So which Sib person? on the beat. Okay. So he make yeah. beats and he engineer. Mm -hmm. Well... Sib ain't really making beats now. <laughs> the new generation know him for mixing, but yeah. Sib really was a producer making the uh -huh. hardest beats. Like, but now he just mix. That's all he. he did. Yeah, he just okay. the engineer now. So you don't rap at all? Mm mm. You ain't never tried to rap? Nah, that ain't really my thing. I don't think I got the voice for it. You okay. feel me? Like, you gotta really have the voice for that music. Mm -hmm. You can say the best lyrics, but if your voice not one of them voices, mm -hmm. it kind of go in one ear and out the other. Really, to yes. me. But. Nah, I ain't really got the voice for it. I'm more so the mastermind. Like, okay. I know what production I want and mm. with the artists or whatever and the features. Mm. You feel me? So, nah, I really just John Matt and it just called a play. Okay, so how you? So who do you hit up first to get a beat? Who your first go-to? Uh, My go-to, really, I would say it depends on what kind of song it is. Okay. Like, say if it's an R&B, mm. my go-to right now would be B33, for okay. sure. Who is like, that? Uh, Brandon Hobbs He really from like Tallahassee Okay But he moved down here Bro like the wizard with beats okay. Trust me like Gas he Make like him from you right there on Scratch mm -hmm. And all that Like I got a song on my new tape mm -hmm. I was sitting there telling them what I, how I wanted it But mm -hmm. We sitting there really like Building it together so like you if just, I'm saying it, he just gonna play it how I'm telling him, like what I hear or whatever Okay so you can tell him, say hey I want You can hum oh, yeah, say this sure. melody For sure And he just build around it Mm-hmm. Oh, because you ain't never tried to make no beats? Nah, that ain't really my thing. I don't really got the patience for it, like, right now. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, you know, it take practice to really just be elite, top tier. Mm -hmm. Right now, I ain't really got the patience for it. I'm trying to do it now. You feel me? It's mm -hmm. now or never, really. Okay. But I'm more so like an A&R, too. Mm -hmm. So I'm a handpick the producers. Like, I know the best ones in the city or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I get with them. Say if I'm looking for two beats. Man, I might sit there two hours just to pick two beats. Like through a person catalog? Mm-hmm. Okay. If I'm not getting it made from scratch, you mm -hmm. feel me? But I just got to feel it. Like, certain beats you can feel, but it might not be the one for you. Okay. You know? Like, hey. dang, this might be too hard. I can't even think of nothing <laughs> on it. But certain ones, you kind of would know what the feeling. Mm -hmm. Plus the artist. I'm already knowing the artist, so it's kind of like I know what pocket they'll be in and stuff. Mm -hmm. But certain songs, I like to bring the potential out of them, too. Okay. Give them something different. Okay, so if you ever had you sit down and say this person, have you ever had like a bad reaction from say you put 
I don't know, say Ricky Prince on the beat. Yeah. And Shout then, out my boy Rick. Too. Yeah, that's that's family right there. Then you say, for example, you grab Mont Fu, mm-hmm. and, and then when they hear it, they don't, have you ever had somebody say, I don't really like how it come, came out? Or uh, To be honest, not really. Because mm-hmm. it's like, I'm telling you, like, mm-hmm. I'm going to pick the perfect beat for that artist. Like, every time, it's really rare somebody be like, nah, I ain't really feeling that. Send me something else. But certain artists, I might send you three of them. Okay. I know all of them for you, but I just want to know where your head space is on what you really like. You okay. Feel me? Okay. Just kind of like testing the artist. Yeah. I can fuck with it because I've been listening to it. I, I started listening to it. I tried to find it before. It's a little hard to find on Spotify. Just a heads up. But um, when I, I listened to it, I listened to it. I was out there cutting hedges and uh, washing my truck. Mm-hmm. So I probably listened to the whole thing probably about 10 times. Not the whole day, but I'm saying yeah, 10 yeah, times in the span of probably three days. I played at the gym two times and then I played about shit about six times while I was out there cutting grass and everything. But Word. That, that, that shit hard. <laughs> And I like Now uh, what's your favorite ones I gotta ask you that uh, Or the ones that stick out to you I uh, you Truth be told I think Myers is a star I don't know who he is I ain't never met him But Cole Yeah the one The one with him And um Shit, shit. It's like the Fourth or fifth song uh, Understand me Yeah R&B yeah. yeah the one with him and old girl I don't know Ali. how that There you go yeah. yeah And then he said He said uh, Something about Would you take a plan I said okay Don't nobody say No <laughs> yeah. shit like that Like not singing it You know what I mean Yeah That shit hard I like uh, the one with Quincy on there Yeah the let's do it Yeah cause when yeah. I was younger No offense to him I used to think He couldn't sing mm-hmm. And I see I was wrong mm-hmm. And like he could really sing and I don't know if you picked you you said put the sauce on there or it was just a good blend or Yeah, it was more so uh I wanted him to do the hook on it, you mm-hmm. feel me? And Fresh, she really more of a battle rapper now. Yeah, I be seeing that battle. She yeah. uh you know she can do good on tracks too. Yeah. And she had a song that I like with um her cash and Cody and Cody. Mm-hmm. And her sauce on that was like, I just like how she was on it. And I was telling her, give me that same sauce on that beat. So if you kinda Go back and listen to that. Mm-hmm. You'll kind of see why I kind of got her to do it like that. Oh, yeah, and then the intro came on, and I like how you you did like a DJ drama type of thing where you you talked on the beat, but as the the album progresses, you ain't yelling all over. Nah, you know what nah, I mean? Because nah. then you just fuck up. You can't even hear what right, they rapping right, about. Exactly. And I you like, know, back in the day, I got tired of Khaled saying <laughs> "We the best weed, nigga." Like, bro, you talking more than we can hear the song. Yeah, and, and I ain't like talking <laughs> over the hook. <laughs> yeah, and I like that you find a good balance in that. Mm-hmm. So that's what made me realize too. And then. Uh, I like that. I got the juice. Oh yeah, that, that shit was it. too. Yeah, yeah. shit slapping. But all of it is good. Like I said, not every song is for me, which was with yeah, all I get music. It. Yeah, yeah. But it's, as a collective, it's it's a good conceptual album. Appreciate and I fuck it. With it. So I do got to ask, what what's coming with the next one though? Man, it's crazy you asked me that. I just finished uh, getting everything mixed and mastered yesterday. So you got all the songs done. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be a session? Boy, that's it right there too. Or part two, back in the lab. Okay, okay. Yeah. So who you got on this one? <sighs> I had like 32 on the oh, first damn. one. I cut it down to maybe like 28 artists okay. and 13 producers this time. The first okay. time I had like six. Mm-hmm. It was either six or eight, but 13 on this one. Okay. Because it's I think it's 14 on the first one. Mm-hmm. And I noticed like a lot of cats, especially now we we trying to, a couple people I've interviewed, they do like maybe seven songs, maybe eight songs. But for yours to have 14, it don't sound Listen, long. for me, yeah. no disrespect to nobody that do EPs, <laughs> but I just, that ain't my thing. Like uh-huh. seven, I feel like I'm cheating myself. I mm-hmm. got to give it to you. Like you're going to listen to it. Even if you got a short attention span, mm-hmm. man, when you hear these, you're going to let it ride. Plus when you see the track list, mm-hmm. every name that's on it, that's what's going to draw you in really. It's Bunny Tat and, I don't know the name of their song, but Bunny Tat and my song, um, that put it on me. Yeah. yeah. Is that going to be on it? Nah, I actually executive produced that for Bunny Tech. Okay. But she's on the album, though. We okay. got a banger. Like, her triple threat, Cuzzo Carolina and Ebony Nicole. Okay. It's called FMG. Okay, what's that stand for? Fuck me good. <laughs> <laughs> Club banger. Trust me. So how you going to roll it out, though? Are you going to do, like, videos? Or are you going to do... We actually got a uh, dope layout for that FMG video. It's okay. coming, okay. for sure. And you said you got... You said how many artists you got on this one? Uh, like twenty eight. How you manage that time though? Shoot, it's really more so like it's not really a rush, but it is mm-hmm. a rush at the same time. But mm-hmm. it's like I already know I'm gonna get them on it. I don't know how, but I just manifest it. Mm-hmm. Like I know you gonna this track gonna happen before I even send them the beat. Like it's crazy, but it's really more so like. I just wait. You feel mm-hmm. me? I get somebody on the hook, mm-hmm. send it, or we right there together. You're going to do the verse, mm-hmm. then just keep going from there. 
I like to let the person that's on the second verse hear the first verse sometimes. So they know what the vibe is for. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so you just can match it. You feel yeah. me? So, and then to go from there. Yeah, because you definitely want somebody rapping about girls on the first verse, then the second verse, he talking about killing folks. Right, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Looking crazy. <laughs> so, what, how, did you handpick the producer for this one? Oh, yeah. Like, did you see that? Did you do the same process as far as, yo, I need this type of song? Um, Some of them I might be like, let me listen to your beats or whatever, mm-hmm. and I catch a vibe off of that. But mm-hmm. some of them I sat down with and actually told them exactly what I want. I got a song called uh, Sweet Lady. Okay. That Tyrese. We okay. flipped it. Okay. But on the beat, you hear the sample in the background, but mm-hmm. it's not really a lot of it, but it's a certain part when you hear it, you will know. But when he was, he was originally making it, he had like the sample playing in it like too much. And I was just like, nah, take that out. I wanted to say this certain, you feel me, a uh, mm-hmm. word or whatever. But he gave it a more up tempo. It's not like your typical slow R&B. It's like an up tempo. Okay. But when you hear that, yeah. that's it. Trust me. <laughs> Boy, that's it right there. Boy, that's it right there, for sure. <laughs> so do you go into it with, I want to make sure that it's, because it, the first one, definitely not commercial as far as like crossover, but it's commercial as, it's songs enough for everybody. Mm-hmm. So is that intentional or is that just? Oh yeah, it's intentional because I know everybody not going to like certain stuff. Mm-hmm. You might got people that's our age, you don't want to hear the young nigga music. Right, that's or me. Or you got, <laughs> I mean, you feel yeah. me, I get it. And then you got certain people that don't like R and B, so they might kind of be like, "Uh, skip it because it's slow." But mm-hmm. shoot, you got people that want to listen to it. Mm-hmm. You got your self conscious music, you know, your J Cole yeah. type stuff. People definitely want to hear what you're really talking about. Yeah, that very Bars last song. In, you feel yeah. me? So you got to mix it up. Like okay. you can't just have no trap. And I got some trap rep- records. Okay. So you got to have something for everybody. Yeah. Like, oh, they ain't gonna want to listen to it all the way through. Yeah. You feel me? And it's really just like that. Okay, because like the last song is real introspective. That shit was hard. Uh, I don't know, like I'm terrible with names, but I know what it is though, because it was, uh, it's two dudes and I think it's a, a young lady on there. Um, The very last song. Oh, uh, G Code. Yeah, 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 that yeah. one hard. I like that too. So it's got some good replay value. It's got good energy into it. But I mean, so what's the goal though? Uh, As far as what, like having all these people on one out? Uh, The goal, I would say. Really, one of them to blow up. Okay. It don't got to necessarily be a certain one. Long as one of them get through the door, mm-hmm. everything else gonna come with. You. Okay. I feel like. Yeah, that's the first thing. You get, somehow you ain't got no ego, and I, I admire that because a lot of people really they. I got to be the one to make it. But if one person make it. But as far as like for me, what I would say, I'm not an artist, so I don't really have it. I'm right. trying to be that nigga. I'm a producer, so yeah. I'm putting it together so it can go. The stuff I do behind the scenes, if it don't happen, the whole video or project not gonna be the same. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like that's what people sleep on. The behind the scenes, that that's really be boy. the most important stuff. <laughs> yeah. If that person that's shooting that video don't have somebody holding that light, mm-hmm. that artist not gonna get that good angle because the lighting ain't right there. Yeah. It could be something simple like that. Playing the music back while they redoing it. Like mm-hmm. you need somebody to do everything out there. Somebody doing the Snapchat while they doing the behind the scenes <laughs> to promote it. Yeah. You know. To be able to tag you and to send it to the artist mm-hmm. so they can post it up themselves for promotion. So how you coordinate all that? Man, like I got <laughs> certain people that come to my session they're like just record stuff, conversations. Mm-hmm. Uh I might have one person recording a reaction that everybody getting. Mm-hmm. One person recording just me. Mm-hmm. And you know, the other one just recording the whole room mm-hmm. and just edit it like that, chop it up like that. So do you sit down with the video editing process also or Oh yeah. Cause you gotta, I already kind of know how I want it structured. Like I'm, I actually got a documentary. Okay. The first one I had the little part one and two vlogs. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna do just one bit documentary on this one. So okay. if it be an hour, it's gonna be an hour. <laughs> but it's gonna be every song that I'm explaining on it. You feel me? Like okay. with studio footage and all that. Okay. So you can really see it. Hey. Cause one thing about it, people want to see some stuff. You can say whatever, make whatever, post online. Bro, we want to see it. Like, yeah. we want to see it. <laughs> yeah, we want to see. Fuck saying your tape on the way, nigga. When can I upload this motherfucker? Like, for real, though. And I yeah. get it. That's why I don't really go overboard with posting. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got the hardest tape. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. I did now because the tape done. But right. that was just, you know, feeling good. But I don't really like doing all that because <laughs> I know when it dropped what it's going to do. Mm-hmm. If you like the first one, mm-hmm. trust me. The second one, bro. <laughs> Out of here. It's like that. It's like that. No okay. skills. No skills. Like you say, you could skip some on the other one. Not only. 
It's only like maybe this, two I skip. Two. That's enough. This one, <laughs> one through eighteen, you going you gonna ride to. Like for sure. So you ain't scared that, that that's too much? Mm-mm. Why you saying that? Because it's like when you see that track list, bro, mm-hmm. when you see all them artists that's on it, mm-hmm. you gonna wanna click that, regardless of if you heard it. Dang, he got him on this song with her or her with mm-hmm. you gonna click it just because of the the name of it. Okay. It's strength in numbers. If you got three to four heavy hitters on one track, mm-hmm. bro, you're gonna click that just because. Yeah. Just yeah. being real, you know? Yeah. So that'd be like the mindset going in. You gotta get the right people on these tracks. Okay. Versus just your homeboys. On. Yeah. I can't stand homeboy <laughs> tracks. It's two type of music I hate. Homeboy tracks yeah. and in-house music. What's in-house music? You we only hear it in your house. Yeah, yeah. A lot of can't kids. stand it. Yeah. But how do you get somebody out of that though? Really, I find myself having a problem where I want it more than certain artists. Okay. So now I kind of was like, bro, if you don't want to do it, I, I I ain't got the energy for that no more. Where mm-hmm. I'm at right now, I'm so locked in in the zone, bro. Like, if you ain't what I'm on, mm-hmm. shh, you got to stay back. Like, I'm going straight to the top with this. <laughs> I'm on a whole other level right now. So basically, instead of making music for your homeboys, you, you may be using the people that are not using, utilizing the people in your city, but you want it to be worldwide. Oh yeah, for sure. Now, how do you do that? Especially with it being so many diverse artists. Uh, you really got to, for one, if you have it registered and on all platforms, that's number one. Mm-hmm. Now anybody can see it. if they know you or not, they can say, "Hey, this dude got a song with such and such on this album. Mm-hmm. Let me go to Apple Music." Mm-hmm. If y'all can't do that, I'm not going on SoundCloud or Audio Mac. Like you feel me? Like yeah. I'm not even trying to hear that if it's on it. You got to really act. that made me know that you really want the music if mm-hmm. you. Registering your music, you got it on all platforms, so you serious. Mm-hmm. So I really want to work with serious artists, bro. Like basically, like okay. not saying people ain't good. People that's not on my tape, they don't mean they ain't good. Right. You feel me? But it's just I knew exactly who was the right person for every song. Like literally. Okay, so who's on this album that's not on the first one? <sighs> Let me give you some surprise uh, features. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But I say that because I don't post it and stuff too, okay. like on my stories. But mm-hmm. I got Scully on something. Okay. Um, I got this girl named Gigi. She's mm-hmm. young. She's twenty. Okay. Cold. She rap like, or she sing? She rap and she can sing too. Okay. But really more so rapping. Mm-hmm. But man, she cold. Okay. Like, um, I got MB Montana. I don't know who that is. Uh, he from Lawrence. Okay. He got the song uh, "Trap Spot" with Cousin Carolina. Okay. Um, I got Bunny Ted. Okay. Um, I got this dude named Stefan. He from Columbia. Okay. He sound like Jeremiah or Lloyd. How you find him? Uh, actually, my boy TC he had put me on too. Okay. <laughs> me and him kind of do the same thing yeah. too, and he no good artist too. Yeah. You feel me? And he had put me on to him, and when you hear him, <laughs> you gonna want him also. Yeah. R and B and stuff. You feel me? Okay. But um. Who else I got on there? Abby Nicole. Uh, she really do modeling, but she be rapping too. But okay. she, we got a, she on FMG. Okay. Dope record. Okay. Um, I don't know. You just gotta wait till the track list drop. I don't want to give you too many. When you feel me? When's the drop though? It's a surprise release date on that too. I got the album cover about to come out. Okay. And then I'm gonna drop the um track list right after that. Okay. But the tape's done though. But okay, so it's done. You riding to it now? Mm-hmm. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> so do when you finish the album, like say for with the first one, you ride around. Was there anything you was like, I need to go back and change this? So I need oh to yeah. Go. Okay. Man, I was starting on songs in 2020 and probably just hear something like last week maybe mm-hmm. and be like, bro, I want you to change this word or something. You know, mm-hmm. it just be. You, I critique it so much that I'ma know. Like I, I think you say this better mm. or whatever, you know. But it comes with you listening to it. When you mm. in the car, that's like your best A and R. It's gonna let you know, <laughs> nah, that ain't it. You feel me? Or they sound dry on this part, or mm. the ad lib could have been up, or mm. you know, just any kind of little detail. So are people typically open to that, like, oh, you yeah. know, niggas sensitive about that shit. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like the artist, the relationship I have with mm. every item twenty eight, mm. I really have a certain personal relationship with, in cer- a certain type of way with every last artist. It ain't just oh you did this song and that's it. Like no, I'm trying to see what you're working on, or let me be able to produce something on your own record, mm-hmm. or let me give you some beats. So you mm-hmm. know, it's just any kind of thing, really. Okay. So I got a weird question. But how does money play into all of this? Like, do you buy the beats? Do you is you swap it out? Do you? 
Um, you paid the now artists. the first one I had to buy like every beat. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But this one go around. Shout out to a couple of the producers, mm-hmm. Hood Imperial. They could just shoot me some. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I just pick because mm-hmm. they believe in me and know that I'm gonna really put something together mm-hmm. on that track. It ain't gonna be. Your homeboy music. Yeah. You feel me? So <laughs> they can trust me to give me beats. But some of them I did pay for it yeah. too. You feel me? But it's really just like that. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want it, you'll get it. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, I respect that because I hate, I am not trying to compare you to DJ Khaled, but Khaled said it one time. He said, sometimes cats are scared to ask, hey, I need you on this song. And he said, he, like, he said, he asked Jay over. I and look over. up to uh, DJ Khaled, oh, yeah. P. Diddy, yeah. people like that, because we do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. Nah, it ain't nothing about like me asking them to get on the song. Like I want you on the song, yeah. so why wouldn't I ask you? Well, some cats is like, like I like to get on people nerves. Hey, you coming through? You coming through? Like I probably got. I do too. There. Yeah, because they know Coop serious. Yeah. When Coop in the studio, we gonna laugh. But if he walk in, bro, we gotta really do some work. Like yeah. they, every artist will tell you that. Like Coop gonna be cool, but mm-hmm. boy, he about his business. He did <laughs> serious at the end of the day. So since you don't rap, but this is a skill. Would you want to be an A&R for a big record label? Would oh, yeah, you? for sure. I do that in my sleep. Like, mm-hmm. picking good beats, picking mm-hmm. good artists. Like, I do that without even trying to do it. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, of course, like, you give me the opportunity with that, mm-hmm. it's over with. Like, Do you ever hear songs with. and you be like, man, if they would take it out the house or they would quit mm-hmm. just playing it for their homeboys, it could be Every song. day. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of The wisdom? best songs be like that, bro. Like, yeah. the best songs you would never hear. Yeah, the best ball players didn't make it to the league. Exactly. But how do you get somebody out of that? Uh, like I say with me, I got a certain relationship with certain artists. So mm-hmm. maybe it might be somebody that ain't rapped in a couple of years. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just like I know how to talk to you and motivate you and get you to be like, well, bro, book me a session or mm-hmm. let me book a session and come to my session or something. Mm-hmm. And it kind of be like that, really. So you try to show them by example. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause it's, exactly. Because like I say, I, I really want the best for the artist. Mm-hmm. It ain't, like I say, about just doing a feature. They know I'm genuinely going to be like, bro, let me help you with your own stuff because I want to see you do it. Okay. And it's genuine. That's why they really like fuck with me. You oh, feel yeah. me? So would you I've been thinking about this I don't rap But I just was thinking about this What 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 do you think about If somebody With some real bread Established a record label Here in Greenville What do you think Could happen from that Shoot I want to do that You feel <laughs> okay, like yeah. it, Like realistically What yeah. would make real sense mm-hmm. You feel me Get the bag behind you It's over with mm-hmm. Now I can really Do what I want to do Without having a job mm-hmm. You feel me So sh- yeah, because we got to work till we that's get to all, the dream. That's all I need. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? But I mean, do you think that would be one person running it? Do you think it would have to be a group thing? Do you think? It would yeah, have of to course be- it got to be a group. Like it's hard enough doing it by yourself. Mm-hmm. If you really got people that's on the same page mm-hmm. with you, it's over with. How we get them on the same page? Because mm-hmm. now we starting. I, I would say, and on the outside looking, and we starting to be more cohesive. But there was a time where, like I said, it was this, this click, this, that click. And we go to the open mics or shows and. This person to show love to their group. This yeah. group to show love to their group. But it seems like it's starting to come. I mean, I don't know how fast it is, but. Like, the network and chill, yeah. then we do. That's some new shit. That's like fucking the city up. Like, yeah. bringing it. I feel like it done sparked Greenville right now. Mm-hmm. If you really in tune to the local music, mm-hmm. like, people dropping videos now mm-hmm. that really been quiet, like I was saying mm-hmm. earlier. Um, they networking with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, they vlogging more now. Mm-hmm. Um... Really just like that As far as like right now In 2023 First quarter I'd say yeah, yeah. It's really that network And chill done sparked Everything back up So what, what's What's gonna come out, What do you want To come out of ne- The network and chill Really just what it's doing now mm-hmm. People just Linking up with each other Like we playing Everybody music So mm-hmm. You get a chance To be heard In front of Other people From the city mm-hmm. If you feel like You the best Submit that music in And let yeah. us be able To tell that don't post it. Don't have your homeboy telling me my man hard. Yeah. Bro, let me hear it. Like, yeah. let everybody hear that. That's the only way we're going to respect it now. You think it's people scared of the criticism of their music? A lot of them are, but I feel like if you really that mm-hmm. nigga or like you claiming, you should be a thousand percent confident and drop that with no hesitation. Okay. If you like you saying you yeah. is. But if you're not, <laughs> yeah, you might not want us to hear it. Because with me, I'm going to tell you if that's it or not. Okay. We can be best friends, mm-hmm. bro. That ain't it. You feel me? Like, yeah. but it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. Like, with me, when I tell somebody I don't like this song, <clears throat> it's more so, bro, I don't really think that hook's strong enough, or okay. 
the verses ain't really catch my attention all the way through. Mm -hmm. Or your ad libs weak. You need to kind of mm -hmm. pipe up your ad libs. Mm -hmm. Certain little stuff that people might need. Okay. But certain people do be trash now. <laughs> But <laughs> I did what? it's more so like, bro, you need to get back in the lab. Like, uh -huh. bro, just keep writing every day. Mm -hmm. Like, don't start writing. Something like that. Okay. You feel me? Because that's the thing, too. Everybody I like to build people rapper. up. Like, <laughs> yeah. more than just tear you down. You yeah. feel me? I like that, though. That's a tasteful way to say it. Because you're not... Like, I think people are more receptive to criticism when it's specific and it has a solution to it. Mm -hmm. Not just, that shit garbage. Well, tell me why it's garbage. Because I want the song to be better. Yeah. Good. Especially if it got potential. Yeah. Then it's like, bro, this is really all you need right mm -hmm. here. So that's really why the artists fuck with me too, because I'm gonna be real with them, and like I say, it's genuine. Mm -hmm. So it's really more so like it. So where that come from? From within you, where does that come from? What just being like genuine? Yeah, because everybody uh, say they genuine, but you seem like you give that off like in honestly. Real life. I get my good heart from my grandma. Okay, rest in peace, my grandma. But I get my good heart from my grandma. She was always like give you the shirt off a of bat type stuff, like. Mm -hmm. I always love everybody, just wanting the best for you, just because I might not really know you, but I'm going to just vibe with you because, you feel me? Because I want you to be the best or do something good or whatever. So I really get that from my grandma, though, to okay. be honest. You was raised by your grandmother? Uh, my mom, but, uh -huh. you know, grandma was always yeah, around, too. Both, both of them. <laughs> yeah, you feel, feel me? Yeah, yeah. My dad around. I Both parents, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So just being in, around love my whole life. Yeah, yeah. So what do they think about, what, do your, what does your family think about your music? Uh, my family real supportive. Okay, what yeah. they were like? What is this? So they was like, Nah, like all my cousins, they be wanting me to play the music. Cause mm -hmm. let me hear your new song or what you're working on. Mm -hmm. or I can't wait for you to blow up. You know, mm -hmm. I can sit there and get motivation off of just thinking old memories about stuff like that. Yeah. Honestly, okay. If I'm like down or something, I just remember us chilling where we had a family event or something. Mm -hmm. Cause it's hard I can't wait for you to drop that Like just hearing their voice in my head That's just gonna keep me going all the time okay. Just a mental note So do you take what you have And say for example you do, you got the first album You take say ten, Like half the people that was on the album And say hey we're going to I don't know Atlanta We're gonna do a show Do you do you want, do you have aspirations of doing stuff like that? Oh yeah we actually got something in motion with it Okay Care to Cause, share? That, cause, that, cause <laughs> that's really like What it's gonna take Like mm -hmm. Greenville Like I say I got the heavy hitters on my album mm -hmm. So think about how many shows they done did down here. We yeah. done outgrew that. Yeah. So now it's like you have to get out of Greenville. Mm -hmm. Like it's no other way now. Even if the show, the, the club that you in, not just pack pack. Mm -hmm. Bro, let's go out there and rock that bitch out. Like yeah. five of us. Mm -hmm. Greenville takeover. Now mm -hmm. you're going to have certain people out of that room wanting to walk up to you, get your info. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with getting two or three people out of mm -hmm. out of event. Yeah. Because I know them will be real genuine fans out of the whole club. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just got to take that and build momentum with off of it. Okay. And what you think about doing like a festival out here? In Greenville? Yeah. Uh, that like could a, be like good. Like a Dreamville type of thing. I actually want to do this versus. Me and TC need to do this versus. What's that? Uh, You know, they had the versus battles uh down here now. I know about artists. it, but I don't know what it uh, is. Look, exactly. TC, he a record producer too. Yeah. So we do the same thing. So Yeah, we just did an interview last week. <laughs> I feel like me and him are, um be really the best showcase versus in the city. Because mm -hmm. we both like, well, he rap too, but yeah. when he do his producer stuff, it'll be the artists that we both don't work with. So yeah. it'll be like, who brought the best potential out of what <laughs> artists on the song? Yeah. But think about it. If he got 30 artists on his tape, I got 30 on mine. Mm -hmm. Bro, why the fuck wouldn't you want to see all of them come and do two songs a piece on both our sides? Yeah, that'd be hard. Think about that, bro. Like, really? The best of the best out there? Yeah. How can you not? Why wouldn't you want that? That'd be hard, though. You feel me? Yeah. That'd be like Diddy and Jay-Z. Yeah. Like Jay-Z, but uh, Diddy and <laughs> uh, Jermaine Dupri. Jermaine Dupri. Like, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so y'all have talked about doing something. Oh, yeah. We done both called each other out. <laughs> I might call TC just to talk shit to him. Like, right. say something just to fuck his <laughs> yeah. day up type shit. And he'll do that too. Man, fuck you too. Like, yeah. just that my boy. You know, competitive <laughs> yeah. competition type shit. Friendly shit. So what y'all? What about y'all doing one together, though? Nah, we got to... It got to be a versus. <laughs> he know. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm popping shit, but, bro, you know. Yeah. I'm going to get on Smoke Your Boots with it. Quit playing. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, so nah, I gotta pop my shit though. Shit. <laughs> so what you so once you do the second one, are you gonna just continue doing compilations? Is there a, a couple artists you wanna kinda focus in on or I actually been working with uh certain artists like mm -hmm. on a projects that's about to come out now. So I think like after I drop mine, it'll be more so now then I might do EPs with certain artists. Okay. You feel me? But it'll be 
I'm picking the beats, mm-hmm. the features that you got on it, executive producing it. You okay. feel me? And we'll do it like that. But right now, man, this part two about to go so crazy, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. shh, I'm gonna let you hear some stuff. For okay, sure. bet, bet. is there is there an artist? Have you seen any particular artist that's on your album that you said, hey, this one is the one? Not to single anybody out, but like, cause it's it's such a range on the album. As far as like like records, mm-hmm. like where I'm like, okay, this the one one. Yeah. Cause you can have um, some fire, but you can also have one that's like that's the one I need to shoot the video for. Oh yeah, or, but it's like, bro, to be honest, when I promise you, when I tell you this, the songs are so much like fire. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to put like names in a, a hat and draw <laughs> names, like for real though, because yeah. any song can get a video in here. Why not do all of them? I can, but you know, That'd it's going. That's the that's the goal, you uh-huh. know. But as far as like which one to do it right, like what's next, what's next, what's oh, next? Gotcha, gotcha. Bro, everything is a single. Like mm-hmm. you really not gonna skip that. My intro is gas, like five minutes of straight fire. Who like, on intro? <laughs> <coughs> uh, <laughs> we gonna get some information. <laughs> I got Chemo and Al Harris okay. on there. Okay. And uh, Imperial on the beat. Okay. Straight fire. So who is I'm a player for? It. I don't heard uh, he'll uh, his name, but I don't know. He, he used to uh, produce a lot of Dreet Bell um, okay. music back in the day, like Crown Holder. Mm-hmm. Um, but bro, Cole, like okay. gas. You got Dreek on this one? Oh yeah. Okay. He on two songs okay. actually. Okay. I ain't know if he still rapped or not. So. Oh yeah. Okay. He actually was uh, in the studio with me yesterday. Oh, that's he what's pulled up. up. Okay. Y'all still y'all go down there uh, about time? Mm-hmm. That's who Altoons is? Mm-hmm. Okay, because I've been there, but I didn't know what his actual name was. I just yeah. seen like two or three cats to be interested. They do some nice shit in there. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Al. That's yeah, the goat. man. He nice Shout out my shit. boy Seal, too. Seal Engineer, yeah. too. Does he have his own studio? Or? Mm-hmm. Okay. Seal got his own studio, too. Mixed mm-hmm. by Seal. But yeah, mm-hmm. I really more so both of them. Like, Seal actually recorded a couple of verses that I got mm-hmm. um, for uh, Boy That's It Right There Part mm-hmm. 2. But he sent the uh, vocals over and, you know, did okay. it like that. But he definitely contributed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how you come up with the name? I mean, I know what the phrase means, but where did you say that's that I'm gonna use that as the name? Well, uh, boy, that's it yeah. right there. Bro, it's like that's like the perfect saying to say something. <laughs> like, and I always kind of said that even before I was doing music. Mm-hmm. Like, when you hear like a regular song on the radio, shoot, that's it. Yeah. But it's like when you say like, boy, that's it right there. It's like the emphasis on it. Like, mm-hmm. bro, that's the one. <laughs> Fuck everything else. <laughs> yeah. This it. You feel me? Yeah. And just stuck with it like that. Okay, okay. And then it's like now artists know when you send me music, mm-hmm. they want me, they like be anticipating for me to say, <laughs> bro, I know you don't like it because you ain't say, boy, that's it right there. Right. Like, they really take that to the heart now. <laughs> and I really had to double back and be like, I really got to start doing it if I feel like yeah. that. You feel me? But that's a dope tagline. Because mm-hmm. like you said, it's catchy. It fits what you're saying. So what's the, what's the opposite of that? That ain't it, right? That ain't there. it. Yeah, like, nah, bro, you know that ain't it. But it's like, bro, you you can hear that and know that. It's yeah. like, if you really, like, genuine and real with yourself, mm-hmm. bro, you know when that song get and when it ain't it. Like, yeah. Even though artists would say every song, you feel like it's hard, but, bro, you know the ones. It's mm-hmm. like a, you feel it from your toenails all the way up to your, mm-hmm. through your body, like, bro, this is it. I feel this in my soul type shit. <laughs> so I got a question for you. Do you, do you, uh, you got Raymond on there? Nah, he ain't really been active, but okay. That's my, you know, back in the day, so I ain't know he need to. Yeah, (laughs) he definitely need to. You ever thought about holler at him? Man, it's crazy you say that. (laughs) I got a crazy idea. It might. It's not gonna be on part two, right? But I got an idea for uh, uh, Raymond for sure. He was killing that shit. Mm Mm-hmm. For sure, goaded in the city. Yeah, for sure on that rap shit. But I actually got a surprise for you though coming. Okay. I tell you off camera what I got. (laughs) I bet, bet, bet. For sure. Definitely need that. And I know you're gonna fuck with it uh, when I when I tell you too. Okay. Okay. Is Man, I want to ask now, but we <laughs> yeah, we gonna talk turkey. <laughs> All, right. All right, so you got you got the first one, you got the second one coming, mm-hmm. and then you say you want to start going kind of EP in different artists songs have right. out there. Is anyone's what you what you doing with my ass exactly? I think he a star. My bad. I just for I, sure. I, I oh, yeah, love my ass. Like, yes. he look like he he seemed like he might be young. I don't know. Yeah, my ass like twenty seven maybe. Okay, I think he like twenty seven. So what you find? You found him or? Uh, actually, my boy Mari, Mar- Young Mari, he on my tape too. He mm-hmm. on uh two records. Mm-hmm. He actually uh was the first one that introduced me to him. Okay, but this been like, bro, maybe like six, seven years ago. So he, imagine him being nineteen, twenty. Damn. So I was already seen it as soon as he played me the song with him. Like Damn. I just knew, like, bro, 
stay with him. This mm-hmm. is he it. Yeah. You feel that's me? That's it like, right That's there. it right there. <laughs> but I don't know. Me and bro got like good chemistry. Like mm-hmm. I, I love his voice and I know what beat going to be for him. You feel mm-hmm. me? So my ass actually got three features on uh, part okay. two. Okay. He wanted the artists that got three of them. Okay. So how many artists got more than one? Um, Give or take. Triple Threat got two features on there. Mm-hmm. Cuzzo Carolina got two features. Um, Cash Fiend got three. He another one that got three. Okay. Mari got two features on there. Um, I think that's it as far mm-hmm. as like, or Chink on two. Okay. Mm-hmm. We Chink got two crazy. He rap any battle, I think? Uh, she a girl. She oh, got a girl. that ride song. Chink. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. She gassed. The songs we got are gassed. I'm going to play them for you, too. Okay. For sure. <laughs> I'll play every song. So, you know, I need <laughs> your sure. opinion on it. You know, yeah, what you think. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm not old, but I, I like, I'm used to, uh, I guess, the older music, so to speak. But, yeah. But it's cool. Me, to too, see, yeah. You know what I mean? We about to say age. Yeah. Because yeah. cause initially, I used to be like, I don't really listen to local guys. And not in a hating way, just. Nah, I, get, I like got that before, too. It's, it's, in the house music, it's for the homeboys. Mm-hmm. But it seemed like the the skill level or the talent level, however you want to phrase, it, has really risen. Right. And, and I don't know what's what's caused it. Like, bro, it's like people like that. When you say that, mm-hmm. it's like so many times I can tell you that I don't play the song, and people are like, bro, who is this? Are they yeah. on the radio? Because the song be that good. That's how I felt me? listening to yours. Then I get a lot of people that turn into fans because mm-hmm. I do stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. bro, play me that song that you just played the other day. Yeah, that could be on the radio. Send me that. And now they a fan of that person. Yeah. You feel now you like local music. You <laughs> yeah. feel me? Because that's why I'm, I'm coming around to it. That's why right, I was, right. I've been really. That's why I came out there and I said, "Well, shit, I don't rap, but I'm gonna come out here and see what they talking right, about." For you sure, know what I mean? <laughs> for sure. But and what, even if you don't um, be in a local music, we had mm. stuff for uh, videographies, yeah. photography, um, people, um, clothing line merch, mm-hmm. uh, any kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, that's interviewing, dope, like podcasting. Oh, yeah. So it's something for everybody out there that networking chill. Oh, yeah. what's, so what's making the the skill level is? Do you think competition is, I guess, so to speak, iron sharpening iron? Um, Cause yeah, because I mean, I feel like, of course, you know, everybody want to make it out. Yeah. So I feel like if you really in tune in your craft, you gotta be, mm-hmm. you gotta come with your best shit. You <laughs> yeah. feel me? But it's more so like shit. If you know somebody else hot, yeah. hell, I gotta draw something hot too. You feel <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, Not yeah, really yeah. competition, but. Certain people do do that. I ain't saying yeah. they don't, but really, most people not even thinking about it. Like mm-hmm. we ain't even thinking about who else doing the same thing we doing. I'm focusing my own bag right now, so that other shit don't even matter. Everybody else gonna talk that shit, but <laughs> yeah. I'm just locked into my own shit. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna let you get out of here. What? Uh, can I get your social medias? Oh yeah, uh, Quentin Coop Cooper on Facebook, Coop City eighty six on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, Coop City Boy That's it right there On all platforms For the music Videos Be in tune I post on my stories All the time So tap in with me Like That's it Yes sir <laughs> And it's We're gonna try to find out When the second part Coming out We're gonna let oh, you know Oh yeah Stay in tune <laughs> Re- Release date coming real soon Hey man I just wanna say I appreciate you coming through I man. appreciate you having me bro Yes sir